creation story, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 through 3, like the very beginning, at least in what in this version of the Bible. <laughs> um, God created the heavens and the earth in the very beginning, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Okay, so one thing real quick. Uh, I'll get into this middle part right here. In the Bible, whenever it is talking about God, it's talking about the light right here. This Full awareness. Infinite intelligence. Infinite being. Anytime you see the word the Lord, which isn't in any of these verses we'll go over. But in the Bible, anytime it's talking about the Lord, it's talking about the, the real, your real self, your true self, your I am. So, and that's literally in the Bible. I am that I am. I mean, this stuff is legit. <laughs> and it's called I am for a reason. Why do you think, why do you think we say I am to rock? I am feeling great. I am giving the, this, this talk. <laughs> so. I just wanted to point that out. That anytime you see those two, that's what it's speaking of in the Bible. In case you want to go interpret different verses for yourself, which I would encourage. Absolutely. Please do. I'm pretty sure it with the rest of us. All right. Created the heavens. The heavens, super conscious mind. We, are, we know water. We already know water is conscious. Earth is the fertile subconscious mind. Now, heavens, the sky, super conscious mind. God created the heavens and the earth. So, like I said, this is whole and this is whole. Because right now the earth isn't really the way we've been talking about it. Because you know, this isn't this isn't here yet. Only, only what I've wrote, you know, nothing. Okay. Actually, you know, I should have left this space blank and just drew it out. I didn't know I was gonna be able to draw it out. But so far, God, okay, this created the heavens and the earth. Heavens and the earth. This is at the very beginning. Nothing has been experienced yet. Nothing has been experienced yet. So there's nothing there. This line isn't here. Nothing has been experienced yet. This is the beginning. There is no experience. Beginning. So. Heavens and the earth have been created. Right? In the very beginning. So the beginning, nothing's been formed yet. Nothing's been experienced. And the earth was without form. Yeah, nothing's been formed. It was without form. And void, emptiness, completely empty. Void, not a sink. You know, a void is just, there isn't even any kind of wall. There isn't even any limit to really experience just empty void and darkness unawareness you know because at the very beginning of creation we are unaware of ourselves the whole the whole purpose of having a spirit and, and using using the vehicle of the spirit using the vehicle of the soul and using the vehicle of the, of the uh, physical body the only reason to use the tool of the mind the superconscious subconscious and conscious the only reason is to experience have experiences so that we can become more aware of ourselves, more aware of who we are, more aware of who we truly are. Who we truly are is our identity. I am. I am. Is our, I am to rock. I am giving this talk. I am enjoying my life experiences. You know what I mean? I, that's your identity. I am. So the whole purpose of all of this is to identify your I am. Who are you? you know what I mean? Truly, beyond your body, beyond your soul, beyond your spirit, who are you? I am. But, it, but at this time, it was unawareness. Was upon the face of the deep. What's the face? We talked about this, I believe. If not, you know, we haven't. <laughs> I, I, I'm starting to, we're getting so far along, you know, three weeks in now. I'm getting confused on the, what I've talked about in here and what I've made a video on TikTok for. <laughs> but anyways, face represents, you know, face is the form. What is the function? The function of the face is to be able to identify the person. 
you know, if everybody had no faces, it'd be so much harder to identify people. Well, I think we did because you know, like I thought, I think because I think I remember saying, you know, that's why your face is on your driver's license. And identify. So how does that apply to consciousness? Identifying the conscious, uh, identifying the self, your self identity. So darkness was upon the face of the deep, meaning as as deep as you go. You have no awareness of who you are, I mean, of who your identity, what your identity is. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. The spirit of God, you know, the word spirit comes from the word spirare, which means breath. So the breath of God moved upon the face of the water. All of this is the water right now. Yeah. So this line right here is the spirit. But this is, I mean, like, this is the breath through the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, the superconscious mind. So it's all of breath. I mean, as much breath as you can think of. And what does that mean? The whole breath. The whole spirit. The Holy Spirit. This line right here is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, your whole breath. Like I said before, the breath ties the soul to the body. It ties us together. Your breath is what's going to help you to align your conscious and subconscious minds. And then once those are aligned as a whole, you can then attune them to the superconscious mind. That's what's going to unify all of this and provide you access from out here in the conscious mind, the physical body, to your I am and have that experience. Experience yourself, your true self. <clears throat> but right now, none of that's formed. The only things that have formed are the things that are drawn on here. So we have the waters and the breath across the face of the waters. You know, water is life experience. You know, this is where we experience life as we go out into these different vehicles. Within the superconscious, subconscious, conscious. But none of that's there yet. We only have the triangle. You only have the triangle and a line going down through it. That's the breath of God, the spirit of the, uh, the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. So he invoked it. He got, all right, I think I keep saying he. I'm getting, like reading the Bible, I'm getting back into like Christian programming. But if you, if you actually go to the Bible, when, the, when it gets to the verse, I think in chapter two, of creating Adam, Adam, you know, man, or maybe it's at the very end. No, no, yeah, it's at the end of chapter one. Uh, they'll say, "Let us make, let us make man in our image." So it's not, it's not, um, you know, a he. It's not a she. It's not. It's not anything that indicates something other. Us. Our, those are collective. Those are like you're. Those are, those are like you're a part of the group. If I say us, we, our, that means I'm including you into it. We're all included. So the, the creator is is all of us. We are all included in that. Anyways, God said, "Let there be light." You you have said you have to invoke it in order to create. You have to invoke it. So you have to, you know, speak it out. Things you want to manifest, speak them out. You know, when just 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 hum for a second. I mean, you can feel the vibration in your body. So I mean, humming, yeah, it's more intense. But just see where you feel that vibration. What part of your body do you feel that vibration in? I mean, you can feel it. More. I feel it like in, in my chest, more closer to my spine, but kind of in the middle. Mm. You know, do, do different frequencies and you can do it higher and lower. That's why like, ah, um, is the word of creation because ah uh, stimulates the base of the spine. Ooh, stim stimulates like the middle of the spine. Mm, stimulates, you know, the, the pituitary gland. So ah um, is sending those vibrations from the base of the spine up to the, all the way up your spine to the pituitary gland, which is going to stimulate your kundalini energy, which is the most divine creative power of energy available to you. So there's there's an extra gem right there for you. Um, rewind this back and listen to it again a couple times to really hear what I said. 
But anyways, you have to inv invoke things in order to create them. So like I said, when you're now that you with the humming, now that you kind of feel what part of your body is vibrating, now just talk. You know, I think everybody's on mute, so just you know, say a few words while you're listening to me, you know, and see if you can feel where in your body that is vibrating. So you can your your body is going to be the very first thing impacted on the words that you speak out. So your words that you use are have more of an effect on yourself than anybody else. Anybody else. They affect you far more than anybody else. Your words hold power. And this is showing you <laughs> how much power they have. It starts out from the very beginning of the Bible. Anyways, all right. Let there be light and there was light. So now now we have started to now that now that the base structure is formed and the breath is across the face of the it, where we experience the, our ability to experience now there is the beginning of awareness now we are just starting to become aware of things first there was darkness void formless there was nothing now there is something 